Hey guys, I'm here with Professor Dave. We're in the chemistry lab and uh, he's going to show us around, show us uh, some of the research they're doing. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm Bakul Dave. I, I'm, in the chem I'm in professor in the chemistry department and our research focuses on materials chemistry. Uh, more specifically, we work on uh, making glass. It's really rewarding to find that you've done something and accomplished something, not just... Not just write a paper. And, yeah. yeah, right. Um, all of our students do have publications wow. with that. So it's just really nice and uh, a really, really supportive, good atmosphere for a, a being educated, uh, getting a good education. In our department, we have several courses which they can, uh, which allows the undergraduate students, especially when they are cl closer to graduation for junior and seniors, they can take um, uh, research for a credit, or we have several assistantships available which they can take and they can work and also, um, they can take courses and also work in the lab to do research. This does take a lot of training to actually run a oh, NMR yeah. and, and just like any other computer, you have to get used to you know, seeing things. Yeah. If this is the first time that you see a signal like this, yeah. you can ask yourself, what is it, what does it mean? Uh -huh. Everybody actually gradually picks this up over, over time, the more you look at it, the more you get used to it. Yeah. Uh, this is a very simple experiment that we, that we ourselves run using laser. Yeah. Okay, we, so we have to try to uh, get the maximum amount of power out of, out of the laser. In order to do so, we've got to have both beams passing through the cell. You can use this IR card to kind of see where the uh, laser beam is. But also you have to worry if you turn the power up too much, it'll kind of melt the card. DVDs to yeah. computers to you know microchips to anything and it all starts with basic chemistry yeah. and uh, there's a lot of people actually do a lot of research and uh, to benefit medicine just like we're doing. You know.